It's a way to share knowledge and make a difference in the lives of those impacted by the war in Ukraine. This knowledge we got gifted uh, with, we have to share it. This uh, event, uh, CTO Live Aid, is kind of part of that. On June 9th, a worldwide interactive medical educational event will be live streamed, allowing doctors like Dr. Khaldun Al Swad of Henry Ford Health to share their medical expertise without leaving the hospital where they provide care. They asked me to demonstrate uh, how to open chronically occluded arteries. Doctors from around the entire world can actually log on and watch and learn. Henry Ford Health is one of only two U.S. hospitals participating in this year's global event. Henry Ford is basically um, at the cutting edge and pioneering ways to treat these chronically occluded arteries. The average success rate of this procedure around the world is about 50 to 60 percent. Well, Henry Ford Hospital here, our success rate is 90 percent. This is the third year Dr. Alswad has participated in this teaching event, which emerged from a crisis. This is an initiative that started at the peak of the epidemic. This crisis taught us that we can actually share knowledge and information and the procedures uh, and, uh, at a global scale. Without having travel involved, but organizers realize that this initiative can provide more than an opportunity to share knowledge. In 2020, we raised funds for, uh, 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 for the ICU building in areas that cannot afford to build ICUs. But this year, as Ukraine works to survive the Russian invasion, this teaching event, which also serves as a fundraiser, will collect money to benefit hospitals in Ukraine. We just wish for uh, peace and for end of wars all, all around the world. So hopefully we wish for days we don't have to raise charity where nobody need anything. The training lesson is for physicians only, but anyone can sign up to donate. If you would like to learn more about this fundraising initiative, go to fox2detroit.com. Participants say events like this can close the gap and bring everyone a little closer for a common good. The, the world is becoming um, a, a small village, and the more we find out, the more we communicate and with these technology, the more we discover how we are alike. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.